Hi there. I'm going to be doing the entire commentary over this video because this video contains nothing but inaudible wind noises. Not anyone's fault, apart from Danny's. It's always Danny's fault. I blame Danny for everything. He was the one who got the footage for all this. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to have to talk away. I'm going to have to talk about the day basically with just the or the footage we obtained from the day. So yeah, let's let's begin. Okay, so on the third day, uh, I thought, you know, this is probably the most complex shoot that we had, but we didn't have to film much, so I thought we'd be here for like half an hour. Probably just kind of spend more time planning, preparing the scenes, and then taking like 10, possibly like 15 minutes to film it all. Maybe coverage, maybe pushing up to 20 minutes, but yeah, I thought it would be a pretty easy shoot. Not an easy one, but a, but a fast shoot anyways. And, uh, you know, we had a we had a few roadblocks in the way that kind of prevented us from that half an hour mark that I was hoping for. One issue we had was with the public. They would constantly get in the way in the background, and also, on more than one occasion, dog walkers went up to the exact point we were filming and started tossing into the river a stake for their dog to retrieve. That sounds incredibly dirty. But, on more than one occasion, Danny had to go up to, to these dog walkers and ask them to, and very politely, to, to leave. We also had technical issues, because in one, in one, in one particular incident, one, well, the only particular incident we had, uh, the batteries for the Zoom mic ran out. And we didn't have any spares, so David had to dash out and collect more double A's, and that took up at least 40 minutes of the shoot, which was uh, which was torture because we had to stand in the in the in the wind and the cold. This was a very bitter day, and my toes had become very numb after being on set for about 10 minutes. So imagine what they were like at this point in time, which we'd already been on set for like an hour. And we also had to halt production just so dear we could get some double A batteries. So yeah, it was very frustrating. But yeah, we managed to kind of pull through. I think on this day, I think all the actors and, and crew, because you know, the crew are the actors basically, but we were all kind of getting frustrated and kind of getting annoyed through the fact that we had to pick up some more some more batteries and it was very cold. So in this particular scene, uh, James probably didn't quite probably listen to what I was saying here because he's just saying, well, he, he probably did, but he doesn't really know what he's doing because he's probably just tired and wanted to go home. So here's me kind of reframing the scene for him to not go in the background because the idea was supposed to him going in the background and kind of like be looking like he was lost. But instead I just said, no, nah, just don't even go in the background. Just have the audio just get louder and then we'll show you at the end. Just looking very shell-shocked throughout the whole ordeal. Uh, the day shoot consisted of, of two shots. Um, here, uh, we are trying to get the second shot, as they are just preparing, they're going across the across the river. Um, we didn't get any behind the scenes of the, of the first shoot, because Danny is the cameraman for, for the behind the scenes footage, and he um, was the actor getting strangled in the first shot. So. <laughs> Freezing my bollocks off right now. <laughs> so we had a bit of a problem with double A batteries. We didn't have any. So um uh yeah, we have to go and get some. So we're about 40 minutes behind schedule, but it's not a long day today, so it's alright. The idea behind this by uh, in today's shoot was to have it all seemingly look like it's done in one take. Um and I, I want to do this because I, I feel like it, it looks impressive. I've been, I've been doing film for, for six years, so I've seen a lot of like other people, other students' films, and the quality has drastically gone over it since like like six years ago. I'm saying, but I don't think I've ever seen anyone try and do like a very long, patient one take shot like this. And I thought, well, we you know we're all talented. We all know what we're doing, and we could possibly get this done. In one take with a couple of camera trickeries and 
sound edit thing, so I think it'd be kind of a cinch to do. We should we should kind of take up the challenge. Right here, we are getting the audio for Danny's strangling scene. Um, Danny's not getting the one getting. Danny's not getting strangled here. I'm getting strangled. Uh, this was because the crew all collectively agreed that I did such a good job getting smothered in the last kill that I should provide audio work for the um, uh, for Danny's kill. I think in reality the the rat bastards just want to see me get strangled. In my opinion, I thought the first take was good enough, but uh, they disagreed. They wanted to 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 get more for coverage. Uh, we ended up doing like twelve takes. Uh, my neck still hasn't recovered to this day. I am in complete agony right now. So, that was the final day. It was cold, bitter, but we all pulled through, and I think we created a, a very good, very good project. So, uh, that's the end of it. Bye-bye.